Hi, my name is Philip, and I'm going to show you today how to soundproof an office. It's a very, very common problem everywhere in the world, you know, office, you can hear talking on the other side of the wall, and uh, which is not a good thing. Sometimes you need to be private, like in this case here, for example. Um, the most common problems are not really the walls. They're weak, but it's still okay, you know. The problem usually is the ceiling, because usually what we have is a suspended ceiling, like this one. And the walls are going up to the ceiling, but that's it. And then above the wall, you have a big common cavity. And you've got a lot of stuff here. You've got uh, air conditioning duct, you've got cable, data cable, uh, pipes, uh, all sorts of things. And it may be quite complicated. So traditionally, what people do is to install like a curtain, you know, a soundproof curtain, like a flexible noise barrier or mass loaded vinyl, this kind of things. But that doesn't work in this situation because there is so many stuff in the way, so many cables and pipes, that to work and to be effective, it needs to be 100% sealed. And, and you, you can't do that, it's too complicated. So there is another option. The other option is to use something like this, uh, a very high density bath. So I use, in this case, polyester, because there is no health hazard associated with that product, so you can use as it is in the common cavity. And it needs to be very, very dense. So the density of this one is 32 kilo per cubic meter. It can be denser than that, but not lower. Some are 20 euro. It's not enough. Uh, you, you need the density to provide not just sound absorbers, but a bit of sound barrier as well. The cavity ceiling is not the only problem. There is other weak points, and this, in this situation, Often the second weakest point is the wall reaching the window. There are different ways they finish it. Sometimes they finish in the middle between two windows with the wall, but they often have gaps here and that must be really properly sealed. So in this case, for example, we've got a few problems. We've got, we've got teeny gaps here between the timber and, um, and the aluminum frame. That must be sealed. We are going to put some um, um, black silicone inside. Here, between the glass and the frame again, you've got a hole here, all along. And they try to fix the problem by installing something, a, um, a neoprene foam, but, but that's not good enough for uh, sound transmission. It's okay for a seal, for a door seal or window sometimes, but not in this case. And so we need to seal that with silicone. We have lower. We have other problems. You see, this is electric duct. Um, they've got gaps here. See, I can go through. If I can go through like this, you know, you can hear me talking like there was nothing between. And on the bottom as well, you don't see it, but I know it is. You know, oh, look, look, the. I can go through completely here. So I have to seal everything under. Um, so you, you cannot have any gaps, any holes, because the sun goes through very easily. So even inside the duct here, I'm going to remove that, and like this, you see, and I will push inside some special, you know, the same bus I have, you see, the polyester bus, I'm going to push that inside. It's an um, electric and uh, data cable duct here. So we're going to fix all those things, and. Um, when the job is finished, really you can talk normally and people don't understand anything on the other side. If you speak a bit loud, they can still hear you talking but not understand what you're saying. And that's the purpose of the soundproofing an office. You need a, a bit of privacy. So we're going to show you how, how we install the bats first and then we go through the other steps after. So another weak point are the doors also. Um, it's not a concern in this particular place. They are more concerned about the sound transmission to the walls, uh, not concerned about the hallway. So, but if it was, if it was a concern, I would have to do to install a drop seal on the bottom of the door. Uh, it's a rubber seal that goes up when you open the door and goes down when you close the door, so it doesn't drag on the floor. And then here we have a felt. You know, I will it. I will have to remove it and replace it with a proper uh, acoustic seal because the felt is not acoustic. You need something like a, like a rubber. So that's how. 
So now I've started laying the bath, so let's have a look in the cavity. So we are now inside the cavity, and you see I'm laying the bath just above the partition wall. And you can see all the things in the way. You see, you see the ducts, air conditioning, electric wire, pipes, another cable here. And uh, so that's why a mass loaded vinyl, it's not good, not good at all, it's too complicated. And, and inefficient. So now I can lay bats above this. I, I lay that in a brick pattern way. And I do a small return here. Um, not very long, about 1200 mil altogether. And then I can continue. And I install in brick pattern way. So the thing is more, more stable. And I put another one here, as you can see. Here we are. And then I continue to build up till I reach the slab here above. So the whole thing will be quite well sealed after that. So here I just went through the, the pipe. Um, I'm going over the pipe and under. I delaminate the product so it it's just go perfectly well. And here we got the cable going through. Simple. And, uh, and with the pressure of the others it will compress a bit. It will be perfectly sealed. Right, so now it's done. See, I went to the slab above, and that's all we need to do. So, air conditioning airflow may sometimes be, be a problem if you seal the ceiling cavity completely, because then the airflow into the room come in, then has to go out through the ceiling and through the entire ceiling cavity. But if you block everything with the bats, then he cannot get out, he cannot escape. So you don't have the flow you need. And um, the, you, there is a solution for that. And the solution is this. Through your wall, you just build with four bats, like a tunnel. Put on top of each other, and then you have the, the other bats that you continue to build around. You can have one big one like this, or you can have two small ones, which is probably better. Because the, the airflow can circulate, but the, the sound will get trapped inside the, the tunnel and become very weak on the other side. So this is a good, uh, good solution to fix it too. We also have to seal the gap between the wall and the ceiling, because as you can see, we have a gap that can be big. We have a groove here, for example. Uh, sometimes they are 10 mil thick, so that the sound goes also directly through the other wall. So we have to seal really every, every gap. I use a clear silicone. Um, I think it works better. If you use a white color, it's getting messy, but like this, it's, it works well. Here too, we have a gap here, and uh, there are thin gaps between the timber and uh, the frame and the wall, so I'm going to use uh, this time black silicone. Better remove the masking tape before it's set, just in case. Et voilà. Beautiful. Um, another point is the skirting, the skirting board, which is a electrical duct and for database duct as well. So now what I'm going to do is to push inside uh, even much higher density, about double, about twice the density I've used on the, on the ceiling. So I'm going to push it inside like this. And that will muffle the noise going through as well. We can see remove it if needed and put it back in place. So it's not permanent. Well, I think that's about it. We we'll go over about everything, I think. Um, it doesn't stop everything, doesn't stop every sound, because you can still hear talking, but you don't understand what people are saying, as before you could understand clearly every word. Um, if you want to stop completely or playing music, that's another story. We will have to build probably a second wall as well. Uh, but that's another story. 
Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you very much.